Hello, good evening and welcome you all to this wonderful live stream from Exponent to Success. Uh, so this is a new setup that I am trying and I hope the audio quality and the camera quality is much better than before. So there may be some issues with the audio quality. Actually, my uh, home here is going under renovations. We are and, uh, having a painting job done because of which the room is entirely empty. So except for the curtains that you see behind me, there is nothing else in the room. So you might be able to hear some echo here, but otherwise I think if you can hear me okay and if uh, it is not too bad, you can let me know in the comment section if everything is okay. And as far as uh, camera quality is concerned, I think it is much better than before. I am trying out a new camera this time and uh, connected with my phone uh, which is connected directly to the laptop. Uh, the quality of the phone camera is much better than the quality of the laptop camera which is why I hope you may be able to see the difference in the camera quality and also the audio quality which is not uh, so good but I think by next week uh, once the renovations etc are completely done it should be good for you. Hello Animesh, uh, nice to see you here once again and I hope you are exams went well and uh, you are free now but I heard, I heard that the pre-boards are coming up very soon and uh, you have a practical exam on th I think on 12th and then exam star starting from uh, okay uh, and uh, right so you say that the voice clarity is not good I know uh, I, as I told you there are some renovations going on and because of those renovations the room is very uh, quite empty because of which you might be able to have some echo uh, otherwise apart from the echo I think everything is okay uh, we have a new visitor here Vidansh Merotra Vidansh very good and uh, I welcome you to this live stream I am seeing you for the first time here uh, Vidansh uh, we are conducting live streams here and we are going to study about mathematics and these questions are going to help you in your board exams. Uh, so, uh, right. So basically what uh, I see Ashu also, they say Ashu. Uh, Ashu Tomar, I think he was your name, right? Uh, if I'm not wrong. Okay, nice to see you here, Ashu. And it is uh, very nice, right. Uh, Vedansh, where are you from? Uh, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, uh, like I don't mind, uh, yeah, in fact I think uh, the use of internet should be, especially for children should be uh, quite, it should be used quite judiciously, judiciously, so I'm not going to ask you for your personal information here, but do check out the uh, attendance form that is there in the description box of the video, do mark your attendance there which will have some uh, uh, yeah, uh, which will have some preferred uh, your personal details also and it is very important to fill up the attendance form in case you want to f win the prize and get the certificate okay uh, last time who won the prize Ashu it was uh, Animesh who won the prize and Animesh was first and then there was a girl by the name of Khushi Kumari I don't know if she is here or not today but uh, she won the second prize and there were no contenders for the third because you needed a minimum of 30 points to win the prize. Now this time the winning the prize has just become tougher and the prize has just gotten bigger. It's going to be a much bigger prize than what uh, we were used to seeing till now. Till now the maximum MRP of the prize or the maximum retail price was 330 rupees. This time it is going to be 3000 rupees. So it's 10, time, 10 times more expensive than the price that you are getting and it's going to be big, a big hamper which, is come, which will come right to your home uh, provided you fill up the attendance form and provided you get the criteria for, uh, fulfill the criteria for winning the prize. So all the uh, rules and regulations for winning the prize, the terms and conditions are again mentioned in the description box of the video so description box you will see the link to the terms and conditions you can read that but anyways in brief I will tell you what are the terms and conditions so the terms and conditions are that uh, first of all in the month of October so there will be four streams in October I think so we are third today so third 10th 17th 24th and 31st no there will be five streams in October 
So we've got five streams and uh, in these five streams you have to get a total of 50 points to qualify for the prize. I know 50 points is a little tough, uh, especially for uh, somebody, uh, especially when you don't get some questions correct. Uh, it is a little tough, but it becomes easier because the rules have been relaxed in the sense that if you are the first one to get the answer, instead of getting one point, you are getting two points now. So that way it has got easier, you have got an opportunity to score more points if you are the first one to give the correct answer and uh, secondly uh, is, since the company this uh, these prizes are sponsored by the company by the name of uh, good and more good and more you can visit them on the website which is www.goodandmore.in uh, they have lots of products which are uh, basically syrups and powders for milkshakes and cocktails and mocktails you can check out and order any of them using their amazon links but anyways they are going to give you a big hamper worth 3000 rupees if you win the first prize now the only thing that they demand is that we should have good participation in their streams and for that what you need to do is that not only you but you have to tell your friends also to come to the stream next time and for each extra friend that you get you are going to get three points extra so that is an additional incentive that you are getting so if uh, the only condition is that if your friend comes he should fill up uh, attendance form not only fill up the attendance form but he should he or she should also stay till the end of the stream and answer at least five questions during the stream so that is the condition for getting three points uh, for the friend so three points for a friend for one friend so if you get five friends you get 15 points uh, additional even if you don't answer even one question but you get 10 of your friends here then you get 50 points directly and you qualify to win the prize so that is one condition the company is looking for more participation so we have to ensure that we not only come alone but we come with our friends uh, Vedansh it would be nice if you could uh, you can uh, probably call up some of, your, some of your classmates right now and tell them to join right, uh, right in and I would request the others also to do so so that then we can start the stream ok talking about the stream what is the stream about so this is about trigonometry we have in the last week we have done uh, last week due to some technical glitch the stream could not happen but the week before last we done trigonometric ratios and some trigonometric ratios of some special angles like angles of 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees we did all those and in this week we are going to do trigonometric identities i don't think it is going to be a very long stream i think i've got about eight to ten questions today and uh, quite simple ones actually uh, because the CBSC has deleted most of the tough syllabus that is there and also because of the multiple choice exam it is going to be simpler so you don't have uh, you know things like proving etc prove that this is equal to this that becomes a little difficult as well as it is subjective so not going into all that it is going to be mostly multiple choice uh, questions and uh, not only multiple choice we are also going to be having some subjective questions because i believe we should have practice about that also because ultimately a term two is going to be a subjective type uh, paper so preparing for all eventualities that we have and before we start the stream before we go into trigonometry i would request you to click on the subscribe button below the video so that you get subscribed to this channel and not only get subscribed to it but also click on the net bell notification so that you also get a notification for the next live stream because uh, I, you know the things are like this in youtube that even if you click on subscribe the notifications will not come to you that is how youtube has changed over the years so these days the notific all notifications do not come if you do not click on the bell notification so you make sure that you click on the bell notification also so that you do not miss any live stream though for your benefit i must tell you every sunday 5 p.m. we are doing a live stream one is in this, this channel on which we are seeing it right now which is exponent to success there is another channel that I have Ganit Tavya which I talk in Hindi so in Hindi there is a live stream so uh, just a distinction between the two channels exponent to success is an English channel and Ganit Tavya is a Hindi channel hai. 
तो इंग्लिश और हिंदी दोनों में लाइव स्ट्रीम्स होती है ऑल्टरनेट वीक्स में होते हैं बट दिस वीक वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर डूइंग इट ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू सक्सेस तो दिस विल बी इन इंग्लिश अगेन द लिंक टू गणितव्य इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द गणितव्य सब्सक्राइब टू दैट ऑल्सो एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल नोटिफिकेशन I notice we already have six to seven likes on this video, but do click on the like button if you haven't liked it so far. It would give me a little bit of motivation that uh, whatever I'm doing and you guys are liking it. And in case you want to contact me any time during anything, whether it is to ask a question, whether it is a question related to your syllabus, whether it's any other question related to the company. or any other question to adjust a general chit chat or you want to give me a feedback about the video or about the live stream feel free to send me a mail on this address which is exp2success@sharma.es my name is vikas sharma so that is why it is uh, as you can see my name here it's vikas sharma so sharma.es es stands for exponent to success and uh, you can send me a mail on this address exp to success at sharma.es and again uh, there are some videos that i have linked in the description box i okay i'm not sure whether i have linked those or not but in fact after this stream i uh, after this stream i link a video in the description box and you can have a look at that make sure you mark your attendance before you leave because if you want to win the certificate and the prize it is absolutely important that you fill up the attendance form <coughs> not only fill it up but make sure you give your correct details your address your phone number and your pin code number because if the prize is going to come to your uh, home address then obviously we need the courier company we need your pin code i uh, pin code number also your exact address your exact name and your telephone number as well so obviously these will be kept confidential and will be will be used for the internal use of exponent to success not for anything else and in case at any time you won't have you have some doubts before the exams and you want want an extra class you can also book an extra session with me a personal session and again to book a slot for yourself you can just write to exponent to success at sharma.es and i am willing to take a class for you right uh so let us continue and go right into trigonometry so like i said we are going to do trigonometric identities today and trigonometric identities before we actually go into the questions i would like to tell you about the proof where does the trigonometric identities where do they come from so let me make myself a little smaller and the screen a little bigger so that you are able to see clearly and uh, visibly so let's go directly to uh, trigonometric identities and let's look at the proof how does the proof work so when we talk about trigonometry trigonometry basically involves right angle triangles and for that let us take the right angle triangle let's say that the triangle is abc which is right angled at b now whenever we think of a right angle triangle the first thing that comes to our mind is the pythagoras theorem how does the pythagoras theorem says work or what does the pythagorean theorem says the pythagorean theorem says that the sum of the squares of the two sides of a right angle triangle is always equal to the square of the hypotenuse so if you look at the two sides here we have got ab square so we can write the pythagoras theorem as ab square which is one of the sides uh, the bc square these are the two sides which make the right angle between them so these two we have to take the square of these two sides and add them together and this should be equal to the square of the hypotenuse which is nothing but ac square now this is the pythagoras theorem we know we have learnt in the last session how to prove the pythagoras theorem so we are now i'm not going to go into it again but what i i'm going to tell you is that mathematicians what they do is they tend to you know always play around with things whenever they have something complicated in front of them they try to make it simple and for that they do try various combinations and uh, in fact the favorite pastimes of mathematicians is that whenever they come across something 
they just try some or the something or the other to make it simpler or to make it more complicated and a lot of theories a lot of theorems and formulas that we get today is because of those mathematicians playing around with things and i would encourage all of you also to play around with things whenever you come across something try different things and uh, mostly something will come out of it if it has not already been proved earlier probably you would be the first one to prove and like Pythagoras theorem you could have an Animesh theorem or an Ashu theorem or a Vedansh theorem or whatever uh, you would like so play around with things experiment with things that is very important the curiosity should always be kept alive and like mathematicians did what they did to the Pythagoras theorem uh, was that they said okay we have got ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square why not divide both sides of the equation by ac square let's see what we get so they divided both sides of the equation by ac square so both the terms on the left hand side will get divided by ac square so we have got ac square here also and ac square here also now since ac square has been divided to both sides of the equation therefore it does not make any change in the equation both sides the LHS and the RHS would still remain equal now once you got this we can rewrite the left hand side as uh, we, we can rewrite it as AB upon AC whole square plus BC upon AC whole square and the right hand side is AC square upon AC square which is nothing but 1 now uh, uh, According to trigonometry, one basic mantra of trigonometry which you should never forget is so kat toa. So that I told you in the last lesson also, do not forget this. This has to be remembered for all times where so, SOH stands for the sine of an angle is nothing but the opposite upon hypotenuse. Cos of an angle, ka, cos of an angle is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Toa is tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent. If and if we take an angle here, let's say the angle is theta, so then we can re rewrite this uh, AB upon AC. What will that become? So AB you see is the side opposite to theta, so that will be opposite. AC you see is the side which is opposite to the right angle, so that uh, that is hypotenuse. That is the whole square of that plus BC. BC you know is the side which is adjacent to the angle theta so we can call it the adjacent side upon AC AC again is the hypotenuse so the whole square of that should be equal to 1 now according to Soko Toa opposite over hypotenuse is nothing but sine of an angle so that becomes sine theta whole square plus adjacent over hypotenuse is cos of an angle so we can write it as cos theta whole square is equal to 1 and when we open the squares we do not write it as sin theta square or cos theta square because we are not squaring the angles we are squaring the sin of an angle uh, so therefore we write it as sin square theta we are, since we are squaring the sin of an angle not the angle itself instead of writing it as sin theta square we write it as sin square theta and this becomes cos square theta so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so this is this is the first and the most basic trigonometric identity that we have and the next one is uh, right the, the, for the next one again like mathematicians i'm going to play around with a few things here so let me write the pythagoras theorem again so it's a b square upon no a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square this was the Pythagoras theorem. Now this time I am going to divide by BC square. So if I divide by BC square, this becomes AB square upon BC square plus BC square upon BC square is equal to AC square upon BC square. And again I can rewrite this as AB upon BC whole square plus BC square upon BC square becomes 1 is equal to AC upon BC whole square now ab again if we look at the side ab it is opposite to the angle of theta so we can write it as opposite and bc is the adjacent side to theta so opposite over adjacent whole square plus 1 is equal to 
AC we have seen is the hypotenuse and BC is the adjacent so hypotenuse over adjacent whole square. Now opposite over adjacent according to TOA tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent so we can write that as tan theta whole square plus 1 is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent so if we look at cos it's adjacent over hypotenuse so the, it's the reciprocal of cos and the reciprocal of cos we know is sec theta so sec theta whole square so we can rewrite this as tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta so this is the second trigonometric identity that we have and for the third one again i am going to start with the pythagoras theorem that ab square plus bc square is equal to AC square. Now this time I am going to divide by AB square. So I divide this also by AB square. I divide this also by AB square. And I divide this also by AB square. So what I get is AB square upon AB square is 1. BC upon AB whole square. BC upon AB whole square. Plus, sorry, is equal to not plus is equal to AC over AB whole square which means this can be written as 1 plus BC BC you know is the adjacent adjacent over AB AB is the opposite whole square that should be equal to AC is the hypotenuse and AB is the opposite whole square now which means that this again can be rewritten as 1 plus adjacent over opposite adjacent over opposite tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent so this is the reciprocal of tan which means it's going to be cot square theta so 1 plus cot square theta will be equal to hypotenuse over opposite so this is the reciprocal of this where sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse so hypotenuse of the opposite will be cosec theta and the square of that will be cosec square theta. So these are the three trigonometric identities that we have and this is what we are going to use in our today's lesson. So do not forget these three identities and we are going to solve some questions. Now the time for you people has come to start solving questions and let's see if we have any comments okay good vibes animation is getting good vibes about this lesson and i think he is going to be happy so let's see who apart from animation is feeling happy about the stream and is really excited to go for it and get the prize uh, as i told you it's going to be a mega prize this month so it's for uh, for uh, worth three thousand rupees which is going to come to your doorstep uh, do let me know if you are excited and we'll start the questions right now. All you have to do is to get the first uh, the first two points is to get the correct answer. You must be the first one to get the correct answer in the chat box. To get the answer just write it in the chat box in the comment section and uh, the first one to message or uh, the first one that whose message I read will be the uh, winner of two points. All others who give the correct answer, but before I show the answer on the screen, uh, will get one point each. And if you invite some friends and they do at least five questions in the stream, you will get three points for per friend. So yes, do try hard for it and let us go to the question straight away. The first question that we have is this. If cot theta is equal to 15 upon 8, you have to evaluate 2 plus 2 sin theta times 1 minus sin theta over 1 plus cos theta times 2 minus 2 cos theta. Hmm. Okay, I am going to give you some time to try your hand at it. Uh, but meanwhile, I will also solve it. So, you know, I am a teacher. I can, uh, I have been doing these things all my life. So, obviously, my speed, according to your speed, or if compared to your speed, is going to be much faster. So that is why I purposely, intentionally, I go slow, so that you people get an opportunity to answer the questions and to win the points. 
So I will take as long as possible to come to the correct answer till that you till that time you have the opportunity to have a go at it at it in your notebook and send the correct answer in the chat box. You have to give the value of cot theta. Uh, no, uh, you have to find the value of this expression. This whole. Uh, garbled up expression that is there you have to simplify the expression bring it into terms that you already know of something so we know cot theta so probably we can uh, you know this there are two ways of doing it actually so I if one of the ways was the harder way which we did in the last time last class also that if we know the ratios that we know cot theta is equal to 15 upon 8 we can go ahead and make a right angle triangle we can say that this is theta cot theta is the inverse of uh, sorry the reciprocal of tan theta tan theta according to Sokatoa is opposite over adjacent so this is going to be adjacent over opposite so adjacent is this so that means this is going to be 15 and this is 8 and according to the Pythagoras theorem, theorem the Pythagorean triplets this is going to be 17 now once you have found this you can then evaluate what is 2 plus 2 sin theta into 1 minus sin theta. The other way and the smarter way to do this is to simplify this expression. Make it something into which you uh, already know what it could be uh, converted into and then we will solve it. So let's try and do it that way. So what I am going to do is, uh, okay no answers yet. What I am going to do is I will first write the expression as it is because I do not want to make any mistakes you know uh, especially in the exams when we do it what happens is we straight away go and start solving it but the first step that I do is to copy the question very very carefully from the question paper to your answer sheet because once you keep looking at the question paper and then back to your answer sheet then back to your question paper then back to your answer sheet there are a lot of mistakes that can happen or while copying so if you copy the question correctly the first time nothing will go wrong so i write the question as it is 2 plus 2 sin theta into 1 minus sin theta whole over 1 plus cos theta times 2 minus 2 cos theta and once I have this then I can go ahead and simplify it how will you guys simplify it and I think Animesh has come up with an answer which is 63 upon 56 Animesh we are just starting the question still that time you have an opportunity to review your answer if you think that is going to be correct or not uh, you can just revise your answer and if you want to change it anytime before I come up with the correct answer you uh, will get the points uh, so is it 63 by 56 or uh, 9 over 8 or Ashu says it's 63 divided by B what is B? I don't know what B is anyways we will go ahead and solve the questions and meanwhile you can have a look at how you were doing it and uh, what could be done out of it so the thing i would be how i would simplify it is that in the first term in the numerator i can see that 2 is common so i can factorize out the 2 and i'll be left with 1 plus sin theta times 1 minus sin theta and over the denominator denominator is 1 plus cos theta times again 2 is common in the second term in the denominator so I'll factorize out the 2 and I'll be left with 1 minus cos theta times 2 then the 2 and 2 can get cancelled and what I am left with is 1 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta so according to the algebraic identity which is a plus b into a minus b it is uh, uh, a square minus b square so I can rewrite this as 1 minus sin square theta over 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta using the same identity is nothing but 1 minus cos square theta now we know that the sine that the uh, trigonometric identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 
So by this we can say that cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta and sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Right? Okay. Uh, Desi Archu also says it's 9 over 8. Uh, okay and instead of typing in chat box you should do mentimeter quiz i know i can do menti quiz also but you know what the thing is in menti quiz uh, um, what happens is that uh, it is better if you have a lot of participants so then it will be good so next week when you get 10 friends of you of yours own if 10 of your friends come and you also join so we have about 40 children participating together then the multimeter quiz will make sense and it will be a lot of fun also uh, yes uh, and Ashu agrees with that yes I also agree with that but we need a little more participation with two or three children that doesn't work so it has to be more interesting right so from this from this cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta so I can write 1 minus sin square theta as cos square theta and 1 minus cos square theta is actually sin square theta so I can write that as sin square theta no changes in the answer as yet right so uh, cos square theta upon sin square theta that is nothing but cot theta whole square or it is equal to cot square theta and because cot theta is equal to 15 upon 8 we can write that as 15 upon 8 whole square which is equal to 225 upon 64 so unfortunately 9 upon 8 is also wrong unfortunately 63 upon 56 is also wrong so the correct answer is 225 over 64 Good effort guys, good effort Animesh, good effort Ashu, both of you gave the answer but unfortunately it didn't turn out to be the correct answer. I don't know how you did it but the correct answer is 225 by 64. So no points for this to anybody and we we'll move on to the next question. You still have an opportunity to earn a lot of points during this team and two points if you give the first correct answer. Whoever gives the first correct answer to this question will get two points. All others to give the correct answer will get one point each. Okay, so if sine 7 sine square theta plus 3 cos square theta is equal to 4, then the value of tan theta will be how much? Okay, so that is what we will have to do. This is a very simple question and if I start doing it, if I give it away uh, like that only, you will you guys will get the answer straight away so uh, then it won't make sense to do any of this so actually i'm going to wait for you guys to come up with an answer and then i will start solving the question but what i can do in the meantime is what i usually do which is i will just copy the question over correctly to my answer sheet so it's 7 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta is equal to 4. Now remember this is a stream about trigonometric identities so wherever these three identities can be used you must try and use them so we have got sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 that is the first identity 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sex square theta which is the second identity and 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos sex square theta which is the third identity so wherever these identities can be used you must use them and try and come up with the correct answer no more no answers as yet so that means should i go and try and solve it uh, myself and you will not give the answers is that what you mean or do i wait for some more time till you are able to do it Okay, I think I uh, that's enough of waiting and I will start doing the question right away. So the basic thing that I would like to do in this is 7 sine sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta. I would like to break this 7 square, sin square theta into something. Okay, uh, Ashu has uh, given the answer that it is going to be 
plus or minus 1 over root t. Uh, okay, and Vedansh has come up with an answer that it is going to be equal to 1. So let's see which one is correct and uh, we have got divided opinions here. Let's see what Animesh says and if there are any others in the stream, let's see what they say. And meanwhile, I will continue to solve this question. So I will break this 7 sine square theta. I can rewrite this as 4 sine square theta plus 3 sine square theta plus 3 cos square theta which is already there in the uh, above thing is equal to 4. So now I can factorize out the 3 from these two terms so I can rewrite as at 4 sin square theta plus 3 times sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 4. I know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So I can rewrite this as 4 sin square theta is equal to, uh, sorry plus 3 is equal to 4. I can take 3 to the other side so that becomes 4 minus 3. So I can cut it out from here right 4 minus 3. So that means 4 sin square theta is equal to 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And Ashu is continuing to stick to the answer that it is going to be plus or minus 1 over root 3 and Vedansh is sticking to his 1 only. Let's see who is the correct one and okay so that means sin square theta is equal to 1 over 4. So if sin square theta is equal to 1 over 4 then we take the square roots of both the sides and we get that sin theta is equal to plus or minus 1 over 2. Now whenever sin theta is 1 over 2 that means we know the trigonometric identity or the trigonometric ratios of some special angles. We can also write that as sin theta is equal to sin of 30 degrees because when angle is 30 degrees whether it is uh, whether, when the angle is 30 degrees it is basically the answer that we get is either 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2. So it does not become that theta is equal to 30 degrees so it becomes 30 degrees. So the angle is 30 degrees. Now when the angle is 30 degrees we have to calculate tan theta. So that means theta is equal to 30 degrees and when theta is 30 degrees so therefore tan 30 degrees will be equal to uh, 1 over root 3. Now unfortunately it is not going to be minus 1 over root 3. Uh, Animesh has said answer B. I don't know when did you send this answer? What time? I will have to see the time whether to give you the point or not. 5.36. So I think it was 1 minute before. So before I came up with the answer you did give an answer but the correct answer I would give to Ashu because he came up with the correct answer even though he said plus or minus I should please note that it is only going to be plus 1 over root 3 because sign of an angle is plus or minus 1 over 2 when the angle is 30 degrees but tan of 30 degrees is only 1 over root 3 it is not minus 1 over root 3 so be careful about that it is only going to be 1 over root 3 so B of course is the correct option and uh, Animesh you will get 1 point for it, Ashu you will get 2 points for it and Vedanj unfortunately your answer to this question was not correct so I won't be able to give you any point for it, it this but you can very well try for the next question and meanwhile while I write the points in the screen in my notepad you can continue and try this question and meanwhile I will update my sheet also. So we have got Ashu Tomar. Ashu Tomar has got two points. Animesh Gupta has got one point. And we have got Vedanj Marotra. Vedanj Marotra, right? Yes. Vedanj Maratra with zero points right now but he is well participating. Okay. 
Right, so let's continue to this. Uh, do we have any answers till now? No, no answers. But I will rewrite the question again like I always do on my screen. So if tan theta, what we have been given is that tan theta is equal to 1 over root 7. And we have to find the value of cos x square theta plus x square theta over cos x square theta minus x square theta. Okay, what can I do here? Well, uh, there is a trigonometric identity, identity which says that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to x square theta and there is another one which is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta. So since we have got cos x square theta and x x square theta, probably we could use these identities because then we will get something in the form tan square theta and cot square theta will be there. So since we know no tan theta, we will be able to do it that way. Anivesh has come up with the answer that it is going to be option C which is 4 upon 3. Let's see if that is the correct answer or not and let's wait for the Theta, minus one plus, plus one plus one becomes two, so that is two plus. This is of course one of those because and then do it. Which says that it has hand. Uh, lagging okay i don't know probably the internet is slow hmm i don't know uh, let's wait for the internet to correct itself i th think it to correct itself uh, I hope so Uh, yeah, right. I should remove myself from the stream. I should uh, mute my. Uh, I will stop my camera and I will basically just continue with the audio. Are you able to hear me now? Are you able to hear me? 
because if you are able to hear me then i can switch up my video and we can continue with the stream i was looking now what something is wrong really wrong the internet is acting up <coughs> okay i have removed my camera from the screen right now and it is just audio so we continue to solve the question and let's see if we get it right okay uh, so we have got uh, 2 plus cot square theta plus tan square theta that will be 1 plus cot square theta and i'll distribute the minus sign so that will become minus 1 minus tan square theta so the 1 and 1 will get cancelled so i can write this as 2 plus cot square theta is nothing over 1 plus tan square theta plus tan square square theta again is 1 over tan square theta minus tan square theta now we know the value of tan theta which is 1 over root 7 so i can just substitute these values so i get 2 plus 1 over root 7 is tan theta so the reciprocal of that will be root 7 and the square of that will be 7 so that gives me 2 plus 7 uh plus 1 over root 7 but because this is tan square theta so it will become 1 over 7 upon uh 1 plus tan square theta is 7 minus 1 upon 7 so when i simplify this i can take 7 as the lcm i get 14 plus 7 plus 7 times 7 is 49 plus 1 over 7 into 7 is 49 minus 1 over 7. The 7 and 7 can get cancelled. What I am left with is 14 plus 49 plus 1 is 50. 50 plus 14 is 64 upon 48 because 49 minus 1 is 48. And uh, do we have any answers? Okay, uh, 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 Desi Ashu says answer is three upon four, and Animesh says it is four upon three. Both different options. I don't know who is right, but let's see. We are very close to the answer, and uh, so we have got sixty-four over forty-eight. If we divide both numerator and denominator by sixteen, we get sixteen times four is sixty-four, and sixteen times three is forty-eight. So indeed, the correct answer is four over three. And Animesh will get two points for that. Unfortunately, Ashu three over four is not the correct answer. Had he given the correct answer, you would have got one point for it. For but for this question, you won't get any point. And now the final score, as I have it, is that uh, Ashu stays on three points. We've got Animesh, which who had one point earlier, he has got now got three. Vedant is still on zero. Let's go to the next question that we have, and the next question is: If cos a plus cos square a is equal to one, then the value of sine square a plus sine to the power four a is what? Okay, this is again. Uh, I would say it's not a very difficult question, but it is slightly tricky. So, uh, in case you know the identities, you can do it, but. it is not a very easy thing to do uh, so these type of questions may come in the board exams because i have seen them coming in the past and especially as multiple choice only they will come because this is a very easy question once you know how to do it but if you haven't seen it before it might get a little complicated let's see if you guys are able to do it or not okay and animesh has already given the answer that it is going to be 1 how so soon vedant uh, yes unfortunately i had some internet issue i don't know whether you had an internet issue as well or not but i definitely had some internet issues and everything was lagging but because of that i have removed my video also from the stream right now but i think the internet seems to be okay now I think I will be able to bring my video back. Okay, and I don't see any uh, issues right now on the screen. 
Okay, so uh, we have got an answer already from Animesh, and Animesh has given that option C should be the correct one, which is one. Let's see if we have any other problems, uh, any other answers. Meanwhile, I will start solving how to do it, and I'll tell you. So, like all things, uh, what we have to do, I will first write out what is given to us and what we need to find out. So, we know that cos A plus cos square A is equal to 1 and sin square A plus sin to the power 4A is what we need to find out. Okay, uh, Desi Ashu also says that the correct answer should be 1. So, in case 1 is the correct answer, then Animesh will get 2 points for it, Ashu is going to get 1 point for it and we are still waiting for an answer from Vedansh if he is able to do it. sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. So, if I take cos square a to the other side, that means that sin square a will be equal to 1 minus cos square a. Now, it has become very, very simple, isn't it? Yes, I know uh, Animesh, uh, I have been Are you able to hear me now, guys? Okay, are you able to hear me now, Ashu, uh, Animesh? What to do now? Animesh, I think this is the third question, not the fourth one. It is uh, the third question. First one, you didn't... No, this is the fourth question. First one, you nobody gave a correct answer. Uh, second one, we did have... You gave the wrong answer. Third one, you got the right answer. This is the fourth question. Yes, I'll keep my camera off. Okay, and we'll continue. So we know that sine square theta, sine square a is equal to one minus cos square a, and uh, we also know that cos a is equal to one minus cos square a. So using this, what we have been given, we can write that cos a is equal to, since one minus cos square theta is cos square a, actually is the same as sine square a. I can rewrite this that I saying that cos a is equal to sin square a. So, if cos a is equal to sin square a, then what what will be sin square a plus sin to the power 4a? What will that be equal to? So, sin square a, I can probably rewrite this as sin square a plus sin square a whole square because that will be sin to the power 4a. That means sin square a we know is equal to cos a. So that is cos A 
प्लस साइन स्क्वायर ए अगेन इज कॉस ए तो स्क्वायर ऑफ दैट बिकम्स कॉस स्क्वायर ए सो दैट मीन्स साइन स्क्वायर ए प्लस साइन टू द पावर फोर ए इज नथिंग बट कॉस ए प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर ए एंड कॉस ए प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर वे ए वी नो इज वन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज वन विच इज ऑप्शन सी एंड आई थिंक अनिमेश गॉट द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस He was the first one to get the correct answer. Animesh, uh, let's see. Yes, Animesh was the first one to come up with the answer C. Then second was Ashu, and third was Vedansh. Okay, so all three of you will get a point for it, and Animesh will get two points for coming up with the correct answer first. So Animesh moves on to five. we got ashu on 3 and vedansh has opened the score and is currently on 1 let's move to the next question the next question is find the value of secant theta times 1 minus sin theta times secant theta plus tan theta now there are no options for this this is a subjective type question so uh, you will have to do it yourself what will be the answers second secant theta times 1 minus sin theta times secant theta plus tan theta i give you a hint how to do it so the hint is that if you convert everything into sin and cos it might become simple i hope it will become simple i don't know whether it will or it will not but i think it will it can become simpler by converting everything into sin and cos try using it try doing it that way and let's see if you get the correct answer yes uh, desi ashu you also got a point for the last question so you did move on to three points now before that you were on two now you got three animesh is leading with five points and vedansh is on one point Okay, I'll rewrite the question meanwhile while you are you guys are trying to do it. So it starts up with secant theta times one minus sine theta times uh, secant theta plus tan theta. Okay, and like the hint that I gave you, what you have to do is you have to uh, convert everything into sine and cos, and then see if you can work out something. and find out what the value of this will be so let me do the same thing also so secant theta we know is nothing but 1 upon cos theta so i'll write that as 1 upon cos theta into 1 minus sin theta so i'll leave like I'll leave it like that only 1 minus sin theta and secant theta is again 1 over cos theta and tan theta we know is sin theta plus cos sin theta over cos theta So once I have converted everything in the form cos and sine, now I can probably try and simplify and see what we get. Okay. So I've got one over cos theta times one minus sine theta, and here because cos theta is the common denominator, I can write. cos theta and in the numerator i can just add the numerators together so that becomes 1 plus sin theta okay no correct answers to now because if i go one more step then i won't give any answer any points for the answer that you people give because once i've done the next step then the question is almost solved there is nothing left in the question Okay, so Animesh says it's cos square theta over one minus sine theta. Cos square theta over one minus sine theta. Hmm. I don't know. You have to find the value of this. So when they say value, 
I think it should the value be, should be something in numerals. It should not be an expression like you are giving. So it can't be cos square theta over one minus sine theta because that won't make any sense. Okay, or probably you are not giving me the final answer. You are just telling me what it will become, right? Okay, so when I multiply the numerators together, I've got 1 minus sin theta over here, I've got 1 plus sin theta over here, I've got 1 here. So if I multiply by 1, nothing changes. But 1 minus sin theta and 1 plus sin theta is nothing but a minus b times a plus b, which is a square minus b square. So I can write that as 1 minus sin square theta over cos theta into cos square theta will become cos square theta. Okay, and Animesh says that the answer is 1. Okay, Animesh, let's see if uh, indeed 1 is the correct answer or not. We are waiting for an answer from uh, Ashu and from Vedansh too. So 1 minus sin square theta till now we know that 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos square theta. So cos square theta upon cos square theta both get cancelled and we are left with 1. So indeed the correct answer is 1 and Ashu's answer, answer also came just in the nick of time and he says 1. So yes, uh, both Animesh and Ashu will get a point for it. Animesh of course gets two, point for the, 2 points for the same and he moves on to 7 points. Ashu will get 1 point for it, he gets 4 and we have got still Vedansh at one point. So while I update my sheet, you can move on to the next question. Next question is on the screen. So again, the hint for that is you can again convert everything into sine and cos, simplify and see what you get out of it. Or if you can I don't know if you can use some identity. Ultimately, we will have to use an identity, but I don't know. Let's see how to do it. How will you guys do it? I think I will convert everything into cos and sine. That somehow makes things simpler for me. Though we have got three identities uh, from which we can do it, but then whichever identity we use, things are going to become simpler. But whenever there is something complicated and I don't know how to, uh, I know that 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta and 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta but this does not involve squares how will get get squares out of it so that is the only concern i have so uh, what i'm going to do is i'll just write the question as it is so uh, 1 plus cot a minus cos a k times 1 plus tan a plus secant a and then I will move on to uh, solving it. Okay. No correct answers till now. I will convert everything into a sign and cos. So I've got 1 plus cot A is nothing but cos A upon sin A. Minus cos A K is 1 upon sin A. Times. 1 plus tan A is sin A over cos A plus secant A is 1 over cos A. Okay, Ashu has come up with an answer that it is going to be 2 which means option number C. Let's see if that is the correct answer or not. Waiting, Still waiting for animation Vedansh. Okay, what do we have now? So, uh, in the first uh, brackets, I can see that sine A is the common denominator. So, I can probably take the LCM and write it as sine A and it will become 1 plus cos A minus 1. 
no sorry this one will become sin a so sin a plus cos a minus 1 and here cos a i can take it as the common denominator and then this numerator will become cos a plus sin a plus 1 okay what now so we know that sin a plus cos a and here we have got cos a plus sin a so they are nothing but the same thing whether we write it as a plus b or b plus a it is going to be the same thing so we have got something minus 1 and something plus 1 so again a minus b into a plus b so that becomes what a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so that means it is going to be sin a plus cos a whole square minus 1 square which is 1 so sin a plus cos a whole square upon uh, minus 1 upon and we can just multiply the denominators together so that becomes sin a cos a how did Ashu come up with 2? I am not sure about it, but let's see. Anime still hasn't come up with an answer and neither has uh, Vedansh. But Anime has now come up with the answer and he also says 2. I don't know how both of you guys are doing it, but let's see. Maybe I will also get to the same thing. I don't know as yet. But we know that when we simplify this expression, this becomes uh, sin a plus cos a whole square so that becomes sin square a so because a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab so that becomes sin square a plus cos square a plus 2 sin a cos a minus 1 over sin a cos a now this is looking too complicated to me and I don't know how you have come up with 2 but I think I think sin square a plus cos square a is nothing but 1 so 1 plus 2 sin a cos a minus 1 over sin a cos a this is what I am getting but 1 and minus 1 can be cancelled and we have 2 sin a cos a over sin a cos a and both sin a sin a cos a cos a get cancelled and we are left with 2 so indeed option number c is the correct option which is 2 and yes uh, we had ashu coming up with the correct answer first so ashu this time gets uh, 2 points and before i update your sheets you can start doing this question so Ashu gets 2.48 and moves to 6 points. Animesh gets 1.48 and moves to 8 points. We haven't received an answer from Vedant so far and he is still at 1 point. Okay, so I hope you people are enjoying the stream so far and liking it and it is going to help in your board exams. Your pre boards are coming up, and then from mid November, we have got uh, your board starting. So, before the boards, once again, I will uh, remind you that before the boards, in case at any time, uh, so you don't, uh, in case you think that you need to have a personal session for me, uh, if there are a lot of doubts you are having, you can again book a personal session with me, write a mail to exp to success at sharma.es and i'll be happy to take a class for you or alternatively we'll have the class on zoom not on youtube so it will be going to be for when i say personal it is still an online class but it will be on zoom where you will you can also talk and all also there is one more thing that i'm planning for diwali so diwali pe soch raha tha ki kuch badhiya karna chahiye kuch acha karna chahiye कुछ धमाल करना चाहिए पढ़ाई लिखाई तो करते ही रहते हैं बट पढ़ाई लिखाई के साथ साथ अगर कुछ और भी कर सके तो वो भी करना चाहिए सो व्हाट डू यू सजेस्ट वी डू फॉर दिवाली 
Okay, I think you can send me a mail on exp to success at sharma dot es and give your suggestions for Diwali what we should do. I think Diwali is on fourth of November. By mid November, your pre boards will start, and I think we'll do the Diwali special on seventh of November, which is a Sunday. So instead of doing it on thirty first of October, we'll do it on seventh of November. and one thing that i was thinking was that we could have uh, an interactive session where you people can come on screen and you can share the screen time with me and we can have a chat uh, uh, an audio chat or a video chat because if you have got a video camera and an audio uh, and a microphone as well you can connect to the stream yard that we are doing it on and uh, we can have a personal on screen chat for the whole internet to see so that is one thing that i was planning so also if you have any questions you can either book a personal session with me or we can uh, probably have only a doubt session on the diwali weekend apart from that what else the manmasti kya kar sakte hain mujhe mail karke batana meanwhile i don't think we have received any answers for this question so far so i am going to continue with it so as always let me rewrite the question sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta over 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta okay what will be the value for this so in the numerator i can see that probably i can factorize of the sin theta so if i factorize of the sin theta i within the brackets i'll be left with 1 minus 2 sin square theta okay and in the denominator we can factorize of the cos theta so cos theta into 2 cos square theta Minus one. What can we do now? No correct answer so far. Correct answer क्या? No answer so far. So गए आप लोग. Okay. Finally, we have an answer from Animesh who says the answer should be tan theta. Tan theta, the ठीक है. Sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta. But what do we do about one minus two sin square theta and two cos square theta minus one? उसको कैसे काटेंगे? Anyways, sin theta into one minus two sin square theta. So we know that one. Uh, we know that sin square theta. Plus cos square theta is equal to one, right? So probably I can write this one as sine square theta plus cos square theta minus sine square minus two sine square theta. Or as a in the denominator also, I I can rewrite this. Uh, I've got two cos square theta. Minus one, and instead of one, I am going to write the sine square theta. So both will become negative now. So minus sine square theta, minus cos square theta. So we have got sine theta times now sine theta minus two sine square theta will become minus sine square theta. So I will write that later. Minus sine square theta, and the positive term that we have is cos square theta. So cos square theta upon minus sine square theta, sorry, cos square theta minus sine square theta, and here we are, we have cos theta times. Okay, we have an answer from Manimesh also who says it's going to be tan theta, which is again option C. Vedant, are you still online? Uh, in case you are, I would need an answer from you also. I think either you have a net problem because uh, since quite a long time. uh i haven't had a net problem now in case you are on the stream uh, i would quickly solve this question and give me an answer before i can solve it but i'm almost there i'm almost there 
2 cos square theta minus cos square theta gives me cos square theta minus sin square theta. So that of course is cos square theta minus sin square theta gets cancelled and I am left with sin theta upon cos theta which is nothing but tan theta. So yes, option C is the correct answer and Ashu was the second one to give the answer. So Animesh is the first one. So again I will take you to the next question uh, so that you can sa start solving it and meanwhile I will update your score. So Ashu gets 1 point for the same and he moves to 7 points. Animesh gets 2 points, he moves to 10 and Vedanj is still in 1 point. Ok, what will we get after simplification of cos A upon 1 plus sin A plus 1 plus sin A upon cos A? After simplification, what will we get? Will it be sec A, 2 sec A, cosec A or 2 cosec A? Let me rewrite the question as always. Cos A upon 1 plus sin A plus 1 plus sin A over cos A. no answer that yet but anyways what I can do it is uh, since there is nothing to do with sec, cosec, uh, tan or cot so I can't convert it into cos and sin it is already in the simplified form which is cos and sin so the only thing that I can do to simplify further is probably take the LCM and uh, to find out what we get in the numerator and then see what we get as the answer so when we take the LCM, since there is nothing common in the denominators, it is going to be the product of the two. So it's going to be cos A times 1 plus sin A. That is going to be the LCM. And again, so, so that is also known as the cross multiplication method. When we have no, when we have co-prime denominators, we just cross multiply each of the denominators with the opposite numerator. So that becomes cos A times cos A which is cos square A plus 1 plus sin A times 1 plus sin A which is 1 plus sin A whole square. Okay, so we get cos square A plus and if I take 1 plus sin A whole square so that will be A square that means 1 square will be 1 plus B square that means it will be sin square A plus 2ab which is 2 times 1 times sin a which means plus 2 sin a upon cos a into 1 plus sin a ok and now we know that cos square a plus sin square a that is nothing but equal to 1 so I can write it as 1 plus 1 plus 2 sin a over cos A times 1 plus sin A. 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so I can write it as 2 plus 2 sin A over cos A times 1 plus sin A. Okay, so we have an answer from Ashu of again the first answer which he says it's option C which is cosec A and Animesh also says it's option C which is cosec A and Ashu says cosec A. Okay, let's see if indeed it is cosec A or not. <coughs> so we have 2 plus 2 sin A over cos A into 1 plus sin A. So I can factorize out the 2, I will be left with 2 times 1 plus sin A over cos A times 1 plus sin A. 1 plus sin A over 1 plus sin A now gets cancelled and I am left with uh, 
animation says D. You check the answer animation. <coughs> How much prices are there in this month? Uh, animation, there is only, no, Ashu, there is only going to be one price this month. And but that is going to be a big price uh, worth 10 times more amount than what you have been getting till now. So it's worth 3000 rupees. So that price, only one price, but of course you need 50 points to qualify for the price. And 50 points, like I said, you will uh, get for uh, basically, I'll tell you after the question. Okay. So 2 upon cos A is nothing but 2 sec A and Animesh, I'm sorry, you changed your answer too many times. So it's uh, neither C, it's neither D, it's option B. And I will not be able to give you an, uh, the correct answer for that. It is indeed option B, which is 2 sec A. So 2 upon cos A is nothing but 2 sec A. So no points for that. Uh, Right, so you, meanwhile you can uh, probably start doing the next question while I'll tell you about the prizes and I'll mark your scores. So, okay, no prizes, no marks to anybody, so no change in the scores. Right, uh, so okay, you were asking about the prizes. So, Ashu, like I was telling you, there is only going to be one prize, but the minimum criteria for qualification of the prize is 50 points during the month. Now, uh, you are already close to 10 points, so it's not going to be difficult to get 50 in 5 live streams because this month we are going to have 5 live streams. So, uh, that is one thing. The other thing, and because you are also, for every correct answer, you are getting 2 points instead of 1. So, that makes your, uh, you know, scoring for points easier. Plus, moreover, if you get more friends of yours so for this stream i understand i did not get time to promote it though my company told me uh, three weeks uh, sorry two weeks before only that this is the way they are going to go about it but since last week our live stream got disconnected due to internet issues i was not able to promote it well so i've asked for some grace from the company and even if we get someone with 40 or 45 points i think you should be able to qualify they need at least 10 times more participation because the price now is 10 times more expensive. So if we have got 2 or 3 students coming till now in the live stream, we should, they are expecting about 20 to 30, which I told them is going to be quite a lot. So they what they are wanting to is that it should ex at least uh, basically if not 10 times, at least 3 to 5 times it should increase. That means if each of you get uh, 5 students more, so we have got 3 of you plus 5 more from each which is 15, so uh, 18. So from 3 if it becomes 18, so that makes it 6 times more and then they will be able to give the price. So this is all, this all depends on whether you will be able to score 50 points or not, whether the company is willing to pay for that much for uh, low participation that is all yet to be seen but since they want more participation we have to all pitch in and that is why they have given you an incentive also that for each extra friend that you get or for each extra classmate that you get to the screen, stream you will get three points for that so if you want to get uh, if you don't answer any question and you get 10 of your friends who are answering and giving the questions so you get uh, 30 points straight away so that makes more sense or if you get 25 friends sorry not 25 but if you get uh, so if you have to score 50 points then that means how many friends do you need 20 no 17 if you get 17 friends you get three points for each of them and you make 51 points straight away right so it is going to be simple and we have to all pitch in for that so make sure that next time before the live stream all of you must call up your friends and try and get 10 of your friends uh, okay, we have got the correct answer from Desi uh, Ashu, Ashu Tomar. Uh, we have got answer B, which is 1. Uh, which 1 or 2? 
okay first we said 1 and then we said 2 okay and uh, animesh says it is 4 which is option b so i don't know whether which answer is correct whether it is 1 or 2 or 4 and we have got a new visitor shivani badaria shivani jayan to you too and welcome to the stream you are quite late today and i was just telling them these guys that uh, this time the prices are going to be bigger they are going to be 10 times more expensive than what we have been used to uh, it's a price worth 3000 rupees but for that you need to score 50 points at least uh, unfortunately we have joined in late uh, for the stream but we still have a few questions left and for every correct answer that you give you get two points for that if you are the first one to answer if you give a correct answer before uh, i give the answer but after the correct answer has already been given then you get one point so two points for the first correct answer and one point for all other correct answers and three points for each extra friend coming to the stream through you so these are the ways to score points and 50 points in a month and you qualify for that prize and in case uh, whoever has got the maximum points will get the prize in case there is a tie between the points then there will be a random you know i will make out chips and pick out a random person okay and uh, right so what will be the value of this sign to the power 4 theta minus cos to the power 4 theta plus 1 times cos x square theta should be equal to what? So sign to the power 4 theta minus cos to the power 4 theta I can probably factorize it and we animate says it's B and not D. So uh, Animesh is sticking to the answer of 1. Ashu gave the answer as 1 and then changed it to 2. So currently as the things stand now, Animesh is giving the answer as 1 and Ashu is giving us at 2. Which means somebody is wrong. I don't know who is wrong yet but somebody is wrong and let's see who is wrong. So sine to the power 4 theta minus cos to the power 4 theta can be factorized and written as sine square theta minus cos square theta times sine square theta plus cos square theta and we have got plus 1 after that and that whole thing is being multiplied by cos x square theta. Now according to the identity we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So I can just say it as 1 times sin square theta minus cos square theta. So that becomes sin square theta minus cos square theta plus 1 and whole into cos x square theta which is nothing but 1 over sin square theta. And when I distribute this 1 over sin square theta, I get it as sin square theta upon sin square theta minus cos square theta upon sin square theta plus 1 over sin square theta. Sin square theta and sin square theta get cancelled, that is 1 minus. Uh, cos, cos square theta upon sin square theta is cot square theta plus 1 upon sin square theta is cos x square theta. Okay, what do we get now? So we know that there is an identity involving cos x square theta and cot square theta. So we know that 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta right or yeah probably I can rewrite cos square theta as 1 plus cot square theta so 1 minus cot square theta plus 1 plus cot square theta cot square theta and cot square theta will get cancelled and we have got 1 plus 1 which is 2 which means option C is the correct answer and we didn't have any correct answers except
from Shivani. So Shivani, congratulations, you just joined the stream and you have already got two points for it. Uh, Ashu, 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 Ashu gave the answer as B and then he said 2. So B was 1 and 2. So I will take Ashu's answer. In fact, Shivani, you have opened your scorecard, you will get 1 point for that and I will give 2 points to Ashu. Uh, Animesh changed his answer and got the wrong one in fact, so he won't be able to score any points for this. Meanwhile, you can start solving this question while I update the scorecard. So, Ashu has got two points and he has gone up to nine points. Animesh is still leading, uh, he has got ten points. Vedansh has got one point and we have got Shivani. Bavaria with one point. Okay, yes, Ashu, you are right, and you have got two points for that. Okay, we will uh, solve this question and let me know what the answer is whether it's six, minus five, one, or minus four. This is so simple, so simple, so simple that I am not even doing it till you have given me the correct answers and Ashu says you have got given 8 answers very good Ashu proud of you but you have got 10 points only which means some of them were wrong uh, and Animesh gave the answer as 6 so if indeed 6 is the correct answer then Animesh will get 2 points for it if 6 is not the correct answer then Animesh will lose points for it unless he changes his answer and we will have to see who are the others to get the correct answer. Meanwhile I am yet to solve it. I don't know what the correct answer is. Lock kar diya jaya Animesh. Okay. Right, I will rewrite the question 5 times tan square theta, tan square a sorry, minus 5 secant square a plus 1. We have to find the value of that. So obviously looking at these two terms, I know uh, just eyeballing and just looking with, with the eyes, I know that 5 is a common thing. So I can factorize out the 5 and I am left with tan square a minus secant square a plus 1 ok and what was the algebraic sorry the trigonometric identity that we had uh, still waiting for the others answers uh, Ashu uh, Shivani Vedansh in case you are still there tan square a minus 5 Okay, tan square a minus secant square a. So the trigonometric identity was that 1 plus tan square a or tan square theta is equal to secant square theta, which means which means secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. So if we write that as 5 times tan square a plus 1 minus tan square a sorry that's minus secant square a so that becomes minus 1 minus tan square a plus 1 and Ashu says it will be 6 Okay, am I doing the correct thing? Tan square a minus secant square a, the identity is 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square a. So 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square. So tan square is secant square minus 1. Let me, so in the, I am here getting a little bit confused because uh, I think the correct answer should be minus 4 because uh, 5 times minus 1 gives you minus 5 plus 1 gives you minus 4. Let me try doing it the other way since both of you have got the correct answer 
or you have got the answer as 6 let me try it the other way also that if 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta then tan square theta will be equal to secant square theta minus 1 so that becomes 5 times secant square theta minus 1 minus secant square theta plus 1 Again secant square theta and secant square theta gets cancelled. 5 times minus 1 becomes minus 5 plus 1 which again gives me the answer as minus 4. So unfortunately the answer is not 6, it is minus 4. <coughs> Nobody gets a point for that. Yes, thank you Animesh, it is minus 4. And uh, nobody gets a point for that. No changes in the point table as of now. And meanwhile, let's move to the next question. So while you guys solve it, I will wait for you. And this is again so simple, so simple, so simple that I will not be doing it till... Actually, it's not so simple. This is again a slightly tricky question, but you'll be able to do it. I'm sure you'll be able to do it. You just have to apply your mind to it and you will get to the answer. Okay, meanwhile I will write the question like always. So 1 plus sine square alpha is given to us as 3 sine alpha cos alpha. And uh, we have to find the value of cot alpha. Cot alpha is equal to what? Okay, so 1 plus sin square alpha is equal to 3 sin alpha cos alpha. What do I do with this information? What do I do with this information? I am not too sure. So in case we are looking for cot alpha, I think we can divide both sides. What is cot alpha? Cot alpha is nothing but um, cot alpha is cos alpha upon sin alpha, right? So that means uh, what if I convert the sin square alpha into uh, cos square alpha? So we know that sin square alpha plus cos square alpha will be equal to 1 and therefore sin square alpha will be equal to 1 minus cos square alpha. Right? So let me write that as so 1 plus sin square alpha so instead of that I will write it as 1 minus cos square alpha is equal to 3 sin alpha cos alpha. Now because we are looking for cot alpha which is nothing but cos alpha upon sin alpha I will divide it by sin square alpha. Animesh says that 3 C is the correct answer which is 1 and 2. Let me see if Animesh is right or if Shivani or Vedansh or Ashu will be right. Though they haven't come up with the answers I just. Okay and Ashu says it would be 1 and half. So again there is a conflict between the two. So 1 and half. 1 and half is that even one of the options. No Ashu uh, I think you will have to uh, write it again because uh, 1 and half is not even there in the options. It's either 1 and minus 1, 1 or 0, 1 or 1, 2 or minus 1, minus 1. So Ashu also says it's going to be C which is 1 or 2. Okay, so we have both Animesh and Ashu again going for option C which is 1 and 2. Let's see if that is the correct option or not. So again to get cot square alpha or cot alpha, I need to divide it by sin square alpha because if I divide this by sin square alpha so 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so 2 minus sin square al sorry cos, cos square alpha will be equal to 3 sin alpha cos alpha 
and I am going to divide both sides by cos square alpha. So 2 minus cos square alpha upon cos square alpha. Sorry, I will divide by sin square alpha. And why sin square alpha? Because I was looking for cot alpha, right? So I will divide by control P, sorry. I will divide by sin square alpha. So that means it is going to be uh, sin square alpha, uh, 2 upon sin square alpha minus cos square A alpha upon sin square alpha is equal to 3 sin alpha or sorry, I will just write it here only upon sin square alpha. Now sin alpha and sin square wala square to ur gya. Baki jo I am left with is 2 upon sin square alpha 2 upon sin square alpha minus cos square alpha upon sin square alpha becomes cot square alpha will be equal to 3 cos alpha upon sin alpha is cot alpha. Okay, why am I getting it as? I think I will need to change this. No, I think I'm going wrong somewhere. You people uh, uh, are saying option C and how much questions are left? Ashu, I think after this only there are two more questions. Okay, uh, so I'll uh, redo the whole thing. I think I have gone wrong somewhere because this is not giving me the correct answer or I am not getting a way to come out of the problem that I have created for myself or I have dug a pit, pit for myself. So I am not finding a way to come out of that. So this happens in exams also. We come up with situations in which we are stuck and then we have to redo the whole thing. So I know that sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 1. So probably I will write this one as that. So that becomes sin square alpha plus cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is equal to 3 sin alpha cos alpha. So sin square alpha plus sin square alpha gives me 2 sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 3 sin alpha cos alpha. I will again divide by sin square alpha because I am looking for cot alpha somehow. So sin alpha upon divide by sin square alpha sorry sin square alpha and here also sin square alpha. So sin square alpha and sin square alpha gets cancelled here so I am left with 2 plus cot, cos square alpha upon sin square alpha gives me cot square alpha and here sin alpha and the square get cancelled so it's 3 times cos alpha upon sin alpha which is equal to 3 cot alpha. Okay now I am correct and now this we uh, I think we are getting a quadratic equation with the variable as cot alpha. So let me rewrite that as a quadratic equation. So I get cot square alpha, the minus 3 cot alpha goes that side, the, the, that becomes minus 3 cot alpha plus 2 is equal to 1, is, sorry, is equal to 0. And because we have a quadratic equation, we know we take the A and C term. So 1 into 2 is 2. We have to find the factors of 2 and they are only 2 times 1 and because we have got a positive sign there we have to add the 2 of them so 2 plus 1 is gives me 3 and this means that we can split the middle term into these two terms. So I get cot square alpha minus 2 cot alpha minus cot alpha plus 2 is equal to 0. In the first two terms I have got cot alpha as common. I can within brackets I will be left with cot alpha minus 2. In the second two terms I have got 1 minus 1 as common and I will be left with cot alpha minus 2 which is equal to 0. 
that means there are two conditions that I have that cot alpha minus 2 should be equal to 0 or cot alpha minus 1 should be equal to 0. If I take 2 to the other side, I get cot alpha is equal to 2 or if I take minus 1 to the other side, I get it as 1. So indeed, option number C, 1 and 2 are correct. So both Animesh and Ashu will get the correct answer for it. Animesh, of course, was the first one to give the correct answer. So he will get two points for that and Ashu will get one. So you people can start doing this question while I update the points. So Animesh goes up to 12 points. Ashu goes up to 10 points. Vedanch and Shivani are still on one point each. And this stream will continue till the month of October. We have got four more streams to cover up. So in case anywhere you think that um, if you have not scored well this stream, you can always make it up in the next streams. Uh, sorry, can I have my coffee? I still want coffee and it really helps me a lot. Okay. So uh, in fact, what happens is that uh, with coffee, another advantage that I have is, in case you uh, see the description box also, there is a link to a site by the name of Buy Me A Coffee. So go to that link and if you like the work that I am doing for you guys, if you are really um, helping, uh, you know, if you really think that it is useful for you, uh, so go to that site, uh, Buy Me A Coffee. And in case you wish to donate something, it uh, will help me buy more coffee, which will keep me more rejuvenated and, you know, ah, wonderful. Okay. So, sorry, I know you people are not able to see me. I should probably uh, switch on the camera and then show you that I'm having a coffee. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, Tanish, we have got Tanish Katyar with us and uh, Tanish Katyar, well done. Uh, thank you so much. I am doing very well. How are you doing? And Ashu has already come up with the correct, I don't know whether it is correct or not. He says it should be option D, which is cos A. Okay. And Animesh also says that it should be option D, which is cos A. I don't know whether those are the correct answers or not. But Tanish, welcome to the stream and uh, uh, I hope you will do well and you do well in your board exams too. Okay, so let me solve the question and let's see what we get out of it. You people have already done it. I will have to do it first. So I've got... Uh, sec A, so again I will convert, write the question first, sec A plus tan A times 1 minus sin A. So again the first thing that I am going to do is convert sec and tan into cos and sin. So sec A we know is 1 upon cos A plus tan A we know is uh, sin A upon cos A. and whole into 1 minus sin A. Okay, we have got a common denominator which is cos A. Using that as a common denominator, I have got 1 plus sin A in the numerator and multiplied by 1 minus sin A. So 1 plus sin A into 1 minus sin A is 1 minus sin square A upon cos A. That is what I get after simplification. But sine sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. So 1 minus sine square a will be nothing but cos square a. So cos square a upon cos a. And again the, I can cancel out the cos a and the square. So I will be left with cos a. And indeed d cos a is the correct answer. And who has got a point for that? Okay, Ashu was the first one to get the answer. Uh, Animesh says, sir, you should not show the questions when 
someone asks how many are left. Okay, you are very right, Animesh, because if I show the question, then you people can already solve it before uh, I start doing it. Animesh, I didn't think about that at all. And uh, thank you very much for bringing it out to my notice. I will probably see it on one end and then tell you how many questions are left. Okay, so for this, uh, Ashu has got two points, Animesh has got one. So while you people continue with the next question, which I think is the last question of the day. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I think. I will have to add it back again. The uh, screen got disconnected. We have come to the last question of the day and this is the question. Okay, you can continue to start doing the questions while I update the uh, scores for the last question. So, that gives Ashu two points and Animesh uh, one point. Yes, Animesh, I got this. Thank you. You got this. Okay. So, Ashu uh, moves to 12 points now. Animesh moves to 13, still in the lead. And Vedansh and Shivani are still with one point each. And I think we had a new visitor by the name of Tamish Katyar, I don't know where he went, but he hasn't given me the answer as yet. So he is yet to open his scorecard. Okay. Cot square theta. Sorry, let me not use red color because red color is very, it signals danger. Not only does it signal danger, it also makes, uh, it is, uh, they say, well, I know you people are uh, students of physics and, uh, you know, uh, red, they put the stop signs and all those signs in red because red reflects most of the light. So that is why uh, it is easier to see on the eyes. But I think it is also very warm color, which makes which is very hard on the eyes. So we shouldn't we see red for a long time. White is a soothing color and also it makes it looks better. Uh, it is more visible on a black screen. That is why I would prefer to write it with a white pen here. So I don't know whether you've got the answers as yet. Uh, yes, you already have got the answers. Ashu was the first one to come up the, uh, with the answer. That is option B, which he says should be minus one. Animesh has got a divided opinion he says the correct answer should be c which is one let's see who is right whether it's ashu or animesh both are very very close to each other ashu is at 12 points and animesh at 13 and this point could be the make or break for any of you so do revise your answers before i solve it on the screen and let's see so again, let me write the question. So cot square theta minus 1 over sine square theta. That's we, what we have and we want to find the value of that. So of course, cot square theta, let me convert it into cos and sine. So cot theta we know is cos upon sine, cos theta upon sine theta. So I can write this as cos square theta upon sine square theta minus 1 over sine square theta. This is so simple, so simple, I will not do it. Okay, but since you people have already given me the answers, uh, let's see. So that, we have got a common denominator of sine square theta. And in the numerator we get cos square theta minus 1. So we know that sine square theta plus 1 or sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Uh, so, but cos square theta will be 1 minus sin square theta, right? So, I can write cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta minus 1 over sin square theta. The 1 and 1 gets cancelled 
and we have got minus sine square theta upon sine square theta which again get cancelled and I get minus 1. So indeed option number B is the correct option. Animesh, I am sorry that will not get you any points and Ashu that will get you 2 points for that. So ultimately at the end of the stream after a tough fight and a very very close competition we have got uh, the winner for today's stream and that is going to be Ashu with 14 points and Animesh is not very uh, far behind he is at 13 points right now and next time I want all of you to come with 10 of your friends to the stream so that you get 3 points for each of the friend who is staying there but again read the rules and regulations the terms and conditions properly because I want each of them to be participating in the full stream then only will they, the company will recognize them as a friend of yours otherwise not and I've got uh, if you filled up the attendance form have you filled up the attendance form for today's stream because if you haven't make sure that you fill it up because if you mark your attendance you will get not only a certificate if you attended both the uh, trigonometric ratios uh, stream and today's stream you will get a certificate also and even if for the price we need your address and your particulars so make sure you have filled up the attendance form in case the attendance form is not filled up uh, it will not qualify you for the price so make sure that you do fill up the attendance form right now we got some again some messages uh, sir I wanted to see the answer once more of last question yes uh, sure you can Animesh uh, here's the answer okay and uh, right so make sure you mark your attendance uh, that is there and if you haven't liked the video so far do click on the like button right now and like the video that will give me some motivation some motivation that I am doing a good job for you guys do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already do click on the bell notification as well because that will make sure that you do not miss the next live stream the next live stream in the, will be on the Ganitavya channel you can search for Ganitavya on YouTube or you can go into the description box there is a link to Ganitavya as well go to that channel also click on the subscribe button click on all the bell notification and then on all so that you get a notification notification when the stream starts so again it will be Sunday 5 p.m. okay so Sunday 5 p.m. on Ganitavya every Sunday I do a live stream which is either on Exponent to Success or Ganitavya so this week it was on Exponent to Success next week it will be on Ganitavya and then back to Exponent to Success and so on and do not forget to get the to go for the prize also 50 points is all you need to qualify for the prize and the winner with the maximum points will get a prize worth 3000 rupees sponsored by good and more which is very uh, um, i would say very uh, magnanimous of them to give a prize worth so much when they have seen not much participation from you guys so make sure that they find something worth to give the prize because if the participation is not there even if you score 50 points you may not get the prize so that is why it is absolutely essential that in the next stream you not only come with uh, come yourself but get 10 of your friends also so that you get 3 points for each friend staying and participating in the stream so that gives me uh, uh, that is all and Animesh uh, thank you so much that you enjoyed the session a lot and I also enjoyed this lecture and I always will the next uh, okay uh, one more thing that I will tell you okay uh, Animesh has a answer question this time will be there will be three prizes or one Animesh this time there will be only one prize because as you know uh, the company has now uh, instead of giving a prize worth 300 rupees yet they are giving a price worth 3000 rupees so there is only going to be one price so make sure you are the top winner so this is actually for Diwali that for Diwali they are going to give you a bumper price so this is like already like the Diwali bumper 
the prize will be mailed to you on the weekend after Diwali. I'll probably announce the winner also on that weekend, which will be on 7th of November, the weekend just after Diwali. Diwali is on 4th November, so we'll have a live stream on 7th of November, and which is which will be just before your pre boards. So that will not only be a revision live stream for you, where you can bring your own questions, though I encourage you to bring your own questions in every live stream also, but you people don't get, but before because you don't get, I have to bring my own questions. But otherwise, if uh, I have a lot of participants and you people all come with, the, uh, with their own questions, I do not have to make even a slideshow. I can just take up questions from the viewers and uh, give it to all of you and you solve it for them and then we can have a system of uh, winning who comes up with the correct answer first. So we can have it that way also so that whatever doubts you are facing with, you bring up those questions in the stream, I will help you solve those questions and in case you are not able to, in case I don't get questions from you, I can uh, give you my own questions and we can do it that way. But do tell me what to do in Diwali because I am planning to do something very big on the Diwali 7th November. I am going to promote it so well not, not only on YouTube but also on Facebook and uh, social media. I am going to do it. You guys have to help me do it. You have to give me ideas what to do in the Diwali weekend. I don't want it to be only a study study thing. I want it to be more interactive. I can bring you people guys on the screen. So. Uh, we can have a probably a chat on the screen, a live chat, an audio chat, a video chat. So it will be like two people on the screen together or three people on the screen together and we can have a audio chat. And the only requirement for that is that you should have a camera and a microphone available with you because and of course a good internet connection. Uh, so yes, we can do it that way. I can alternate between people. So if I've got 10, 15 people attending. I can bring three people at a time, I can bring five people at a time together and uh, on the screen and we have a chat and then move on to the next five and we can do it that way. We can do a Zoom call personally also, yes uh, Animesh and in fact I did tell you that in case you want to book a personal session with me, uh, you can do so by writing a mail to me at this email ID. So, so uh, yeah, uh, we can all have a personal session on Zoom also. Right, uh, so but do give me ideas about what to do. Because, you know, padai padai ni thoda masti bhi karna chahiye. So, isiliye it's important that I get ideas from you ki Diwali wale weekend pe uh, kya kar sakte hai. So, I am waiting for your suggestions, your ideas and I will see you next week on Ganitavya at 5 p.m. So, take care. Wish you all the best and Parte Raho. God bless you.